Hey guys, this is Tim here. Just thought I'd take a minute today and do a how-to on improving performance of your older laptop or desktop. The easiest thing you can do these days, other than you know adding RAM, upgrading maybe from Vista to Windows 7, is to upgrade your hard drive to an SSD. So in this case, we're going to be using the OCZ Vertex 4. Any high quality uh, SSD will be fine. It doesn't matter whether it's the 128 or the 256 gig models. I'm just using this one because this is what I have on hand. But you can easily use the $100 version of this drive or a you know Samsung 830, an Intel uh, 520, uh, Kingston HyperX. Any of those will work fine. They're all around the $100 price point for the 128 gig models. So you're going to get good return on the value. It is limited space, but you know it is a laptop. Typically, you're going to be storing things off of this to you know maybe your main computer or a backup drive, anyways. So I think the the trade-off of hard drive space for performance, as you'll see in a little bit, is worth it. In our case here, this is just an Athlon. A2, I kind of forget because it's been a while since I've looked at the specs on this machine. Uh, so it's a satellite A215, and this is just an old Athlon processor in this. I mean, this, this machine's almost five years old now. So it's only SATA 2, but as you'll see, even with SATA 2, we're going to get a substantial performance increase. So let's take a look at those numbers now, and I'll be back with you in a minute. So as you guys can see, we almost doubled 
the performance of the machine. Now, there's a few caveats here. You know, you're not going to double the speed of you know your graphics, right? You're not going to get better graphics performance because you put an SSD in. Uh, you're not going to improve the amount of RAM you have. Um, that's something you can do you know, outside of the SSD, but realistically this is more cost effective in my opinion than upgrading RAM because if you have a page file and if the system needs to cache to the disk you know this is a lot faster than your standard hard drive and in an older PC it's not really value oriented to do a RAM upgrade. With adding an SSD if this machine dies six months from now the SSD is still good. It's still a modern SSD that you can move to your next system or another old system you have, right? I mean, it's a, a part that you can move with you. Most of them now have three-year warranties. So, you know, you can always add this to another PC. So the return on investment just isn't that this laptop is faster. It's that someday when you decide to get rid of this laptop, you slap the old hard drive back in, you use this in one of your other systems. So you get good return on investment. So that's just a, a brief overview of how I consider speeding up older machines. This again is just you know my web browsing laptop, but the the difference to me is night and day, especially when you do something like opening Internet Explorer or you know opening a program, booting up the machine. You know the the time differences are are pretty staggering. So again, this is Tim for Timmy Tech TV. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And we'll see you next time.